Teddy Roosevelt's daily routine. Success is not just handed over to you. Everyone definitely needs to do some hard work and make some sacrifices in order to achieve it. Despite the fact that Theodore Roosevelt was born privileged, he still struggled to breathe, and he became one of the most important and influential people the world has ever known. How did Teddy manage many of his major roles in the U.S. government? How did he acquire all of the success? And how can Teddy Roosevelt's daily routine help you achieve more than you ever thought was possible? Hello and welcome to our channel, Mentored. Today, we are here with another amazing video, so stay with us until the end to find out more. Theodore Roosevelt, also known as Teddy Roosevelt, was the youngest person to become president of the United States. Let's begin with the life journey of the 26th president of the United States. Teddy was born on October 27, 1858 in New York City. He was the second child in his house. His father was a glass importer and one of New York City's leading philanthropists. Theodore suffered from asthma since he was a child. He had a hobby of reading books. Sources claim that he used to read books in his family library about wild animals, hunting trips, and faraway places. Theodore was also one of the finest students at Harvard University and graduated in the year 1880. Roosevelt became a public figure by his entry in politics when he won his first election as a New York State Assemblyman. During his three years in the assembly, Roosevelt was known as a progressive reformer who aligned himself with Democratic Governor Grover Cleveland. During his time in presidency, he developed a number of routines to help him achieve his goals, and each was ruthlessly efficient. Teddy's routine is explained by author Edmund Morris in one of his books as The Rise of Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt explained that he would spend no more than a quarter of the typical day studying, which typically amounted to only a couple of hours. Despite spending significantly less time on his classwork than his fellow students, he still managed to achieve honors in five of his seven first-year classes. He always started his days by mapping out his schedule from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., making notes on every day's class, daily athletic training, and lunch. Also, the schedule he followed in his presidency was quite amazing, which included waking up at 7 in the morning and having breakfast straight away. Creating speeches was a major part of his daily routine, which he used to do more than three times a day for half an hour. His daily schedule also consisted of following many of his hobbies. He also used to read books alone in his car during the night at 11 p.m. He always slept around midnight. Well, that type of daily schedule will surely turn a few heads, but there is more. As Roosevelt's career grew, his responsibilities also grew. During one week in February of 1903, he took eight consecutive meetings in a single hour each one averaging 7.5 minutes. At another event that occurred in 1912, although he was shot by an assassin in Milwaukee just before going to the stage for his speech, he still managed to complete his 84-minute speech with a bullet lodged in his ribs. Following this event, we can confidently say that nothing could dare interfere with Roosevelt's daily tasks. The final years of Theodore Roosevelt's life were the toughest. One of the reasons behind it was the outbreak of World War I. Roosevelt campaigned to strengthen the nation's defense, but his request to form another volunteer regiment was denied by President Wilson. He did everything in his power to help strengthen the roots of the United States, but it takes more than one person to bring a huge change. One of the most famous quotes by Teddy Roosevelt that inspires us to work hard is, far and away the best prize that life has to offer is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. We might never find someone as determined as Teddy Roosevelt in our lives, but by trying and getting inspiration from Teddy's routine, we can make our lives better and accomplish big things in life. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think about Teddy Roosevelt's daily routine in the comments section below. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.